Hello, everyone, and welcome to Tara's Daily Insight. My name is Mitchell. Thank you for tuning in. Whatever day you choose or happen to up come upon one of these videos, uh, take it as um, uh, insight for that day or just connection. Um, when I choose cards from a deck, um, they're just random, like pulling up a video. So if you ever feel drawn to one video by the weird faces that I make, <laughs> then pull it open and see if that uh, video has a message for you that day. Um, today uh, is going to be a little longer video. I feel led to do three cards and um, show the relationship between the three of them. And also, I wanted to point out that um, if you go to the YouTube channel, you'll see my examiner.com uh, columns there. And in those columns, I've talked about how to start buying a deck, reading a card, connecting, doing all kinds of things with Tara. So I feel like there's a lot of people tuning in not just for like the daily insight, but also to enhance their own intuition and development of reading cards from some of the posts I'm getting. So also like me on a Facebook fan page. I have um, the personal page and fan page. So check out both of those. And also you can check out um, oracleavenue.com. They'll be starting that up soon. And I'll be doing readings around the U.S. and eventually around the world. So very excited about that. So let me dive right in because I said it's going to be a longer day. And we're going to be pulling three cards. So I am going to put the deck down, but I'm going to start with the first card right at the top. So this is our number eight strength card. Uh, the number eight is a beautiful number. Today is actually a nine day, if I added correctly. And remember, nines are about endings. So this number eight falls right in line with moving into the end of the day. But as you can see, this card shows a lot of strength in this woman. I love this feel. It's kind of an African, um, Egyptian type of a feel with the three cats. And she's touching each of them on the forehead where the third eye is. So this woman, this feminine, is very strong. Uh, I've said it a few times now. I've said it over the weekend that I feel like part of my job right now is supporting the feminine and bringing that back into the world. Guys out there, um, I, I hope that doesn't offend you. Um, maybe you understand, especially if you're part of enlightenment yourself, you're probably connecting into your feminine side, becoming more balanced, which is what I think that is all about. So our strength card number eight. Let me see what else I've got to pull right off the top of the deck. Faith card. Wow. This is going to be an interesting day, people. Maybe this is why I was told to draw all these cards. But this card is number five. Um, number five, again, is a lot of movement change. And I love this card because um, it shows the four different major religions of the world here. And this is often um, the Pope or Hierophant in other decks. So we've got the eight uh, in strength and the five faith, all major arcana. Let's see what it is. Drum roll, please. Uh, four of coins. This is very nice as well. Number four, very stable number. Coins are about resources and finances, um, family, things like that. So here's what I want to do is, is part of the teaching. Bring all three back into focus here. I will be out of focus. Um, so, yeah, this is fun. So putting all three of these together, our eight, our nine, and our four. So we've got a lot of things going on here. I'm going to focus on this middle card as being part of who um, you are today. And there's definitely some faith changing, growing, um, which is going to make you uh, stronger in that. And then also the number four. The number four of coins, it's showing me a little bit of fear and hesitation in the growth. Um, I'm going to put these down just a second. Um, because this is about changing of your belief systems, especially especially with this faith card. You know, if you're like me, you grew up in a conservative, um, you know, religion, and moving into this realm um, can be fearful. It can challenge everything you were taught to believe, um, the fear that was instilled in you where you might end up after this life. Um, so hold on to the belief that nothing is going to become part of your belief system without you actually choosing it, without the influence of your higher self. So you not, cannot be possessed by something that you have not opened the door to and chosen to be a part of. Um, and that's a big, that word possessed is a big word because there is such thing as possession out there. I'm not going down that road. I keep positive, expanding, beautiful energy in and near and around me. And that's what I set for, for those watching this. So allow the challenge of personal growth and faith and enlightenment to come to you. Um, and allow the growth to happen. Um, ex I keep saying the word expand rather than limit. So allow yourself to expand into the full, loving, beautiful, light being that you are, um, remembering where you came from, where you will go after this human form. So I hope you have a wonderful day. That's going on five minutes. I will talk to you later.